Here's a strange truth. Your brain takes in over 11 million bits of information every second, but you're only consciously aware of about 40 of them, which means almost everything around you is invisible until your mind decides it matters. So the real question isn't, how do I pay attention? It's, what filter is my brain already using? Because once you understand that filter, you can train it to block out distraction, sharpen focus, and make the important things stand out. Welcome back to Mindframe. I'm Ty, and here we explore the hidden psychology and deeper patterns that shape how we think, grow, and connect. At the core of this filter is something called the Reticular Activating System, or RAS. It's a tiny network in your brainstem that acts like a bouncer at the door of your awareness. Ever notice how, when you're thinking of buying a new car, suddenly you see it everywhere? Or when you learn a new word, it pops up constantly? That's your R-A-S at work. The car was always on the road, the word always in conversation. But until your brain tagged it as relevant, it didn't make the cut. Which means focus isn't just about discipline. It's about telling your RAS what deserves to get through the door. Your reticular activating system is like the bouncer at the door of your awareness. Every second, millions of bits of sensory data line up to get in. Sounds, colors, movement, people's expressions, even the feel of your clothes on your skin. If all of that hit your conscious mind at once, you'd be overwhelmed. So your RAS decides who gets in. And here's the key. It doesn't decide based on truth. It decides based on relevance. That's why two people can stand in the same crowded room and walk away with completely different experiences. One notices every background conversation. The other fixates on the music. One zeroes in on threats. The other sees opportunities. The event was the same. The filter was different. And if you don't train that filter, it defaults to survival mode. That means it highlights novelty, alerts, distractions, the exact things pulling your focus apart. Which begs the real question, if your brain is already filtering reality for you, do you want the default filter or one you choose? The RAS is programmable and you've already felt it. Remember the last time you were researching a car and suddenly you saw that exact model everywhere? Or when you learned a new word and then it seemed to pop up in every book and conversation? That's not coincidence. It's your RAS, tagging those things as important and feeding them to your conscious mind. It's been doing this your whole life. If your goal is fitness, your brain suddenly notices the gym on your commute. If your goal is money, financial opportunities stand out where they didn't before. This is why journaling, affirmations, and vision boards work. They're not magic magnets pulling things out of thin air. They're instructions for your RAS. Without that instruction, your filter gets hijacked by whatever is loudest. Notifications, advertisements, endless distractions. But with clear tagging, the same brain that once sabotaged you becomes a spotlight that hunts for opportunity. And here's the powerful twist. Your brain is always searching. The only question is whether it's searching for distraction or for progress. The moment you start tagging what matters, the spotlight shifts. If that clicks for you, hit like right now. It tells the algorithm to spotlight this video for more people who are tired of distractions running the show. Selective attention isn't just about what you notice. It's also about what you miss. Think of the famous invisible gorilla experiment. People asked to count basketball passes failed to see someone in a gorilla suit walk right through the scene. Why? Because their RAS filtered it out as irrelevant. The lesson is simple. What you focus on expands and what you ignore literally disappears from awareness. Which means distraction isn't about noise. It's about a filter set to the wrong target. So how do you train it? Start small. Each morning, ask yourself, what do I want my brain to notice today? Write it down. Repeat it. Visualize it. 
Pair this with environment design. Silence notifications, clear your workspace, remove clutter. Your RAS amplifies what's in front of you, so give it fewer junk inputs and more aligned ones. Think of it like training a dog. Every time you direct attention to the right thing, you strengthen the pattern. And every time you indulge distraction, you reward the wrong behavior. But here's the part most people miss. Focus doesn't just shape your thoughts. It shapes your field. Every bit of attention you give off sends a signal. And people feel it, whether you realize it or not. Where attention goes, energy flows. Focus isn't just noticing, it's feeding. When you dwell on distractions, you give them your energy. When you direct attention intentionally, you channel energy into growth. The RAS is the biological side of this truth. The field you radiate is the metaphysical side. Together, they create resonance, which means every choice of focus is a vote, not just for what you'll see, but for what you'll become. So here's the thread. Distraction isn't something you fight off with willpower. It's something you filter out with intention. Train your RAS, tag what matters, design your environment, direct your energy, because what you choose to notice, you multiply. So here's my challenge. For the next 24 hours, pick one thing you want your brain to notice and write it down. Watch how it starts showing up everywhere and share it in the comments. You might train someone else's filter just by naming your own. If this opened something for you, tap like so it reaches more people. And subscribe to MindFrame for weekly insights into psychology, neuroscience, and the hidden patterns that shape how we think, grow, and act. Until next time, stay curious, stay inspired, and keep exploring the depths of your mind.